Now, before we go any further, let me just mention this. Um, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go to my YouTube channel right now, Luther Ragsdale TV. YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, Luther Ragsdale T uh, TV. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this live on YouTube right now, look, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. If you like what you hear, please hit that like button. Um, every single week, I put out new videos, new information, and uh, you do not want to miss this information. So make sure that you subscribe. Now at Platinum Real Estate, we have some career opportunities. If you are not a Platinum Real Estate agent, if you are not a part of the Platinum Real Estate family, I would love to talk to you about career opportunities with our firm. We have an excellent one-on-one -on -one coaching program. Yes, I will coach you. Personally, one-on-one, -on -one, you and me, um, I will personally coach you one-on-one. -on -one. Not only do we have the great coaching, we also have the 100% plan. So we have the 100% plan as well. Uh, receive 100% of your commission on each and every deal. Um, we have excellent technology. We give you a free website, social media marketing, email marketing, video marketing, uh, you name it, guys, we have it there for you. Would love to talk to you about a career with Platinum Real Estate. How do you contact us? Call or text 404-994-4600. Again, call or text 404-994-4600 or shoot, uh, shoot, uh, shoot us an email. Careers at PlatinumRealEstate.com. That's careers at PlatinumRealEstate.com. Um, give us a call. Give us a text. Shoot us an email. Let's talk about some great career opportunities, all right? Now, let's talk about finding the cash buyer. Let me look at my Q&A. Let me look at my chat here. Um, oh, Nicole, yes, 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 yes. We had a slight change. Hey, call or text that number, Nicole. We're going to take care of you. That is right. That was, yes, we had a, a we had a slight change. No, hey, Nicole, contact us, please. 404-994-4600. We're going to take care of you, Nicole. All right. Let's talk about this cash buyer, right? Let's talk about the cash buyer. I want to, let me, uh, let me see here. Let me, uh, let's, the cash buyer, you know, I love the cash buyer. Okay. Now let's talk, talk about cash buyer compared to financing. I never liked, like like to assume so let's break this down cash means all cash i'm coming to closing with all cash right financing obviously got have to go through a bank have to go through a mortgage company have to go through somebody with the financing to make that happen okay cash totally different story so let's talk about quickly just really quickly before we find that cash buyer let's talk about the process so I just want to skip ahead a little bit. I've already found the cash buyer, okay? I've already found him. Let's, let's talk about the, about the process. First of all, proof of funds. This is huge. This is different. I want to make sure everybody understands. When I find that cash buyer, first thing I want to do, whenever, whenever um, I get a buyer on the phone, the first question is, do you want, to pay cash or finances. See, so many times, real estate agents just assume a person's paying, uh, just assume that a, a, that, a, that a person's getting a mortgage. Wrong, 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 wrong. First thing you do, if you're a part of my coaching program, and if you look at any of my scripts, if you look at the process, 
if you look at the the instructions that I give all agents when dealing with they with the buyer, the first question you uh, you ask, or you looking to pay cash or financing, you will be surprised how many times buyers will they will tell you, yes, I'm looking to pay cash, or I can do either. I can do cash or financing. If you just assume that they're doing financing, you might miss an opportunity to, uh, uh, to have a buyer that pays cash. Now, yes, I know the majority of our buyers out there, they're, they're out there getting, uh, getting financing. I get it, right? But never assume, always ask, how are you paying? If a person says, Luther, I'm paying cash, the next thing is proof of funds. Okay, let me say that again. The next thing, proof of funds. I have to see proof of funds. Now let's talk about proof of funds. When you have a cash buyer and you ask for proof of funds, you need copy of a checking account, savings account, stocks, bonds, mutual funds. Where is the money coming from? Show me the money. Don't make a rookie move and just simply let, uh, let somebody says, yes, I'm paying cash. And then you say, okay, meet you at the property. Okay. Get in the car. Let's ride around on Saturday afternoon. That would be a no. Show me the money, which professionally is called proof of funds. Here's another tip, 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 tip. Never make this statement. How much money do you have? Nope, 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 nope. So first thing is, how are you, how are you planning on purchasing the property? Financing, cash. The answer is cash. Your next statement is, how much money are you looking to invest in the property? Invest in the property. That's totally different than how much money do you have? I might have a million dollars, but I am looking to invest only $250,000 in this particular home. You with me? You with me? Again, salesmanship, salesmanship, right? It's not always what you say, but how you say it. Question, how much money are you looking to invest in the property? That's how we figure out how much money that they're wanting to invest in this particular transaction, okay? Next thing, let's talk about appraisals. Let's talk about inspections. Let me ask, ask a quick question and, I'll, and you can answer it in the chat. Question, do you have to have a appraisal on a cash deal? Yes or no, hit me up in the chat. Hit me up in the chat, yes or no. Do you have to have a appraisal on a cash deal? Yes or no? Uh, question, yes or no. Do you have to have an appraisal on a cash deal? Talk to me, yes or no. Some of y'all aren't answering, yes or no. Do you have to have a appraisal on a cash deal? Do you have to have a appraisal on a cash deal? I'm I am getting some yeses. I'm getting some no's. Interesting. Interesting. Do I have to have an appraisal on a cash deal? I'm hearing some yeses. I'm hearing some no's. Let me do this. Let me go to my chat line and raise your hand if you want to give me some feedback. Uh okay. Uh Don. Talk to me, Don. What do you think? My opinion. Oh. Hi, hopefully you can hear me. Can you hear me? Hold on a second, Don. Don. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, Don. Go ahead. Fantastic. I say you do not need an appraisal because there's no lender involved. The lender is the one that normally orders appraisals to make sure they're making a good investment. But if you think it's a good investment, uh, 
you don't need to get an appraisal unless you want one on your own, but it's not required. Not required. Okay, good, 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 Don, good, Don. Thank you. Thank you for your input. Okay, Don says no. Okay. Oh, let me see here. I think I had goal. I think I seen goal's hand was up. Let me find you there. Uh oh, oh, let me see here. Hit the wrong one. Go, talk to me. I think you had a question, statement, something. Go, talk to me. Go. All right. Maybe he went away. Raise your hand if you if you feel. If you feel like, if you feel like, yes, it's a requirement, raise your hand I, and I wanna hear from, from you. If you feel like, yes, it's a requirement. Marilyn Jackson, talk to me. I feel like it is a requirement because you're 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 still having to close the transaction, and you have the 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 closing attorney. They need they have to do the title search and need to know that the the property is at least um, valued at what you're willing to pay for it. Got Otherwise, it. you could be pay, you could be paying a hundred thousand dollars, for instance, for something that doesn't even exist. Marilyn says, "Look, look, look! You could pay a hundred thousand dollars for a property that that a that really, it's not even worth a hundred grand." Marilyn, I hear you. Marilyn's like, "No, no, no, no! Appraisal is mandatory. It is required because you could literally." Pay too much for a property, Marilyn. I, I I get it. I get it. Anybody else agree with Marilyn? Appraisal mandatory on all cash deal. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay. Let me make this statement. Okay. I hear everybody's side. I hear everybody's point of view. Right. Some folks are saying, no, it's not mandatory. Some folks are saying, yes, it is mandatory. Let me answer the question, okay? The magical part of the question is, is it required? Required, no. Recommended, yes. Here's the deal. Yes. It's cash. I can do whatever I want to do with my money. Okay? So, I can do whatever I want to do with my money. I can spend $200,000 on a $50,000 with my money if I want to. Now, if I go through a mortgage company, the mortgage company dic uh, 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 dictates. The mortgage company says, I will not give you the money unless you have an appraisal. Guess what? In a seller's market, much like we have now, there's mortgage companies out there actually, actually waiving appraisals. The market is so good. Values are so good. There's mortgage companies out there now saying, you know what? You do not have to have an appraisal and I will still give you the financing. That's happening in our current market, okay? So what's the correct answer? When you're paying cash, when your buyer is paying cash, an appraisal is five. not mandatory. Now, if your buyer says, I want one as an agent, we need to get them one. As an agent, many times I recommend it's best to have an appraisal, but if the buyer don't want it and it's his cash, he does not have to have it. That brings us to the next bullet on the screen, inspections, right? Is an inspection mandatory? 
with, with a cash deal, is a inspection mandatory? And the answer is no. I, I, I won't even open up the line. The answer is no, because guess what? A inspection is not mandatory on a cash deal or with financing. It's not mandatory. The buyer can buy a property without a inspection, whether it's cash or whether it's financing, you do not have to have a inspection. It's not mandatory. Now, recommended, yes. Recommended, yes. Mandatory, no. Question, question in my chat says, people don't like to show their checking and savings accounts. So what do we do in, in that situation? Okay, agents, talk to me, raise your hand. If, if you have a client, but that says, listen, I don't wanna show you my checking account. I don't wanna show you my savings account. They ain't none of your business. I don't know you like that. I don't know you like that. Agents, how do we deal with this? Merle, you're unmuted. Talk, hey, talk to me. How do we, yeah. how do we deal with that? Hi, hi everyone. Um, yeah, I've had a couple cash um, transactions. So, um, and I did have to explain that, um, you know, the um, proof of funds is the same thing as getting a pre-approval only it, when you are doing a cash sale, you need to, when you make the offer, you have to show the seller's side, the sales agent that you have some proof of funds. It doesn't have to be the money that, you actually close with. It can be any account, it can be stocks and so forth. So what I recommend to people is just um, block off your personal information. If there's a social security number, mark it out, mark any identifying personal information, just send the account information, not you can even get rid of the account number, but just the name of the institution, if it's a bank or whatever and the amount of money. That's all I would attach to um, a, a, an off, a purchase offer for, for the others, for the sales agent, selling agent. There you go, my girl. You know what, I even have to even comment. She's in my coaching program, she's bad with it. She got that right answer. Yes, I coach her. I'm very proud, that's my girl. You said that right. Couldn't say it any better myself. I did a good job. Good job, Merle. You made, you, you made your boy proud. Yeah, she's in my coaching <laughs> program. Excellent response. She knows what's happening. Yeah, hey, look, it's, look, mortgage, you get pre-approved. Look, listen, I'm a real estate agent. We don't want to say, I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time fooling around with you as if you don't have no money. We don't want to say that. We don't want to say, say that. So we want to make, make a very professional statement, which is I'm going to need these funds I need proof of uh, proof of funds because when I submit the offer, many times the seller asked uh, asked for it, and that was a perfect answer. Hey, any personal information, your account number, all that stuff, you can block all that stuff out. It's just leave your name on it. All we're looking for is the balance. That's what we want to know is that you have enough money in this account to cover the actual transaction. We're not worried about your personal business, right? We just want to know that you are approved, or, or excuse me, that you have the funds to close. Excellent, excellent response, okay? Now, let's talk about some benefits. Benefits, benefits of the cash deal. Well, let's talk about the, 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 uh, the biggest benefit, which is what? With financing, you have to get approved. You may get approved, you may not get approved. With the financing, what's the biggest, biggest, a huge, huge benefit, a huge benefit, which is what? We can close very quickly. Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Answer this question for me, okay? Um, how many days does it take to close a cash deal. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So <clears throat> I have somebody 
who wants to close a cash deal. They have cash. I write the contract today. How many days does it take to close a, close a cash deal? Now we're talking benefits. One of the biggest benefits to a cash deal is we can close it quicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Financing 30, 45 days. Y'all, hey, y'all know the deal, right? If I write a contract today, it could take what? 21 days, 30 days, sometimes 45 days. And, 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 and that's obviously longer than a cash transaction. How long does it take for a, what's the quickest we can do a, do a, do a cash transaction? Raise your hands, 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 hands. Somebody's raising their hands, don't be shy. Raise your hands, how many days? Okay, take a guess at it, take a stab at it. There you go. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Tanya. You're saying your system is not allowing me to, to allow you to talk. I don't know what's going on with yours, Tanya. Tanya, uh, put in the chat. Put a put how many days in the chat? Um, come on, somebody else. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. How many days? How many days to close a cash deal? Come on now. Come on now. Hey, hey, help me. Ooh, this is this is a doozy of a question. Cause I don't see no hands up. All right, come on, just 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 take a stab at it. Take a stab at it. How many days to close a cash deal? Don't make me start calling on you, cause you know I'll start calling on people. Uh, look, I'll, all right now, don't make me go through here. How many days for a cash deal? Just guess. Give me a guess. Okay, okay. It's a tough question. Nobody's raising their hand. I hey, I get it. Somebody take a guess. Just help your boy out. Just take a guess. Take a guess. There you go. Um, boom. Marilyn, help me. Marilyn Jackson, help me. How many days? I say one day. One day. I'll take that. Hey, look, at least look, at least you you uh, you gave me an answer. Thank you for helping your boy out. Thank you. That's all I wanted. Let's try again. Edie, talk to me. How many days, Edie? Edie, how many days? Uh oh. You can unmute yourself here. Okay. It depends on how many, um, depends on your attorney who can close for you. The sooner they can close, the sooner you can close. Um, sooner they can close, the sooner you can do it. Okay, give me a number of days. Um, How many days you think? Take a guess at it. Uh, if you could find an attorney, do it tomorrow. And what do you say here? Tomorrow, let's do it tomorrow. If you if you can find an attorney, do it in. Let's say as soon as you can find an attorney, an attorney can do, maybe do it tomorrow, maybe two days. Who knows? All right, cool. It look, depends on your look. attorney. Look, I love it. Hey, I, I love it. They. <laughs> Somebody said one day, somebody said two days. Give me one more guess. Okay, let me ask this. What would you put in the contract? You're writing the contract. You got to close. How many days would you put in that contract? Uh, how many days would you put in the contract? Okay, Don, talk to me, Don. How many days would you put in the contract? How many days? Don, go. Don, how many I'm, days are we putting in that contract? On a contract, I'm going to go with 10 days. I want to be safe. I want to make sure they have enough time to do whatever research they need to do to clear the title. There you go. I'll take that, Don. I will take that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Here's the deal. Make this note. As your coach, as your coach, if I'm coaching you and you say, Luther, how many days should I put it on a cash deal? Right? I am probably going to tell you, let's put five to seven days in the contract. But the quickest we can close is three days. 
This right here is worth the money right here. Nobody got this answer right. So I know everybody got your money's worth. Everybody got your money's worth right here for the webinar. Make this note. The quickest is three days. Here's the deal. It's Sunday, right? I wake up Monday morning, I write a contract. I send it over to the Platinum Real Estate Approver, Approver Turner Ernie, Lin, uh, Leonard Medley from Medley and, uh, and Associates. I say, Leonard, pull the title. He pulls the title on Monday. It comes back on Tuesday. We can close on Wednesday. Best case scenario, best situation, probably the quickest we can get this done is three days, probably. I write the contract on Monday, order the, order, order the title. It comes back on Tuesday. My buyer seller meets at the closed attorney's office on Wednesday, three days. Now, yes, like one of the, uh, like one of the other agents said, hey, listen, right? I would probably put five to seven days to be safe, right? because we don't live in the perfect world and the title don't always come back in time. So yes, I'm shooting for three days, but I would probably in the contract put five to seven days, okay? But I think whether it's three days, whether it's seven days, whether it's 10 days, I think everybody can agree that a huge benefit to cash is we can close a lot sooner than financing, okay? Let me also mention this. Three days is in the perfect world. We all know every county is different. Fulton County is different than Cobb County, is different than Clayton County, is different than Gwinnett County, okay? Different counties get these title, titles back at different time frames. I would always, I would always, before I ever do a cash deal, I reach out to my closing attorney and I say, how many days can we get this done? He will probably ask me what county is the property located in. Once I tell him the county, he can then, then, then you know, advise me how many days it will take to get it back, okay? With cash deals, there is no approval like a mortgage with the mortgage we have to get a get a approval with cash no approval so the major major benefit with cash is once we have the proof of funds we but we but we pretty much have the approval with the proof of funds it's a very very short process so it's a huge benefit when dealing with cash now Let's talk about some different ways to deal with some cash buyers. Questions, my A, hey, my Q&A is open. Q&A is open. Um, okay, I am looking here. Okay, you guys have 14 days, seven days, 10 days, five to seven days, 14 days. Cool. All of that's good. And there's really no wrong answer because every deal is different. Uh, my Q and A. Okay, good. So let's talk about some different ways to find some cash buyers. Listen, landlords and Craigslist. Powerful, you guys. Landlords and Craigslist. Landlords. Some of these investors have a lot of money and they're paying cash. Okay. Let me say this. Back in the day when I was a a a a a a, -A, -A I loved um 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 residential properties and i helped a lot of buyers i helped a lot of sellers but i always was active in the investment market why because i is if i can find one investor that maybe purchased five deals a year 12 deals a year 15 deals a year especially if they're uh, 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 especially if they're buying properties cash Literally, it could help me make my, my quota for the year just by helping investors, just by helping landlords. There's a lot of landlords on Craigslist in the rental section, okay? Excellent source for um, buyers with cash deals. Here's another one, your local MLS. Georgia MLS, 
FMLS, excellent source for buyers with cash deals. Here's one that I used to love. I used to kill them with this. I used to, oh, real estate investor clubs. Oh my goodness. You, oh God, back in the day, you guys, I would spend like 50 bucks and I would get a, get a, you know, a, a, a table at the local RIAs. And I have been to RIAs all over this country, speaking, giving seminars, giving webinars, all that good stuff. I have helped a lot of investors at, uh, at a lot of RIAs, not only in Georgia, but around the, uh, but around the country. Um, I will just talk about Georgia because that's, you know, obviously where I, uh, where I live. Georgia RIA, Atlanta RIA. I would take 50 bucks. I would set up a table. The investors would come to my table. I would get, I would, I would have a, you know, sign up sheet. They would give me their phone number, their email address to a, to be on my uh, 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 property list. And I would email out properties, properties that I had listed, properties that the company had, they had listed, uh, properties that I had found wholesale. And I had a property list that I would email out and now text message, now text message wasn't bad when I was doing it back in the day, but now you guys can email out property lists, text message out property lists, go to your local RIAs, right? Every single month I was at the local RIA and I was getting phone numbers, emails, and I was putting them into my database and I was staying in contact with these investors. And many times the inv of these investors was paying cash. Look, listen, was I helping buyers? Yes. Well, was I helping folks with residential homes? Yes. Was I still listing residential homes? Yes. Was I still helping buyers, first time home buyers? Absolutely yes. But I was doing investors as well. That is a that is a a hidden market that's a gem, you guys. And every year I would have a couple of investors who was buying six properties or nine properties cash, 10 or 12 properties cash. And now I have six closings, eight closings, 12 closings cash just from investors. I know some of you guys are like, I don't do investors, never done investors, don't know nothing about investors. Okay, cool. In my coaching program, go to lutheragsdale.com. In my online course, I have an entire area where I strictly talk about helping investors. I have an entire wealth building se uh, section where I talk about helping investors. Matter of fact, is I have an entire section uh, at lutheragsdale.com in the online course where I, uh, where I also talk about commercial properties. What am I saying here? Agents, don't limit yourself to just residential sales. There's a lot of cash buyers who is investors. And I remember back in the day, sometimes I would have just a few clients, three or four investors, but those three or three and four investors bought 10 properties a piece or five properties a piece. I ended up closing 20 or 30 deals just off of two or three investors, all paying cash, okay? Real estate club, investing meetings, huge, 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 great way to find some cash buyers. Here's another one, platinum agents, platinum agents, you guys know we have our own system. You can go into the system and you can create online capture pages, squeeze pages, web pages, right? And you can say, hey, create a landing page uh, and say, look, I specialize in this area or this county or this or that and have the client give you name, phone number, email address, okay? Great way to find some cash buyers online. Social media, another great place to find cash buyers, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. See, a lot of times we don't receive because we just don't ask. A lot of you guys are on social media. Look, platinum agents, you can create your own landing page. You should have several landing pages. 
And we've talked about it in our coaching sessions every Tuesday. Every Tuesday at 8.30 a.m. Agents, I want you on that coaching call. Platinum real estate agents, I want you on that coaching call. We talk about how to create landing pages. That may, that's just one of many things that, may, that, I, that I talk about all of the time. You should have landing pages out there, okay? Ask and you shall receive. Here's another one, public record. Y'all know, okay? Go into the public record. A lot of these properties don't have mortgages, don't have liens on the properties. Excellent opportunity for a cash buyer, okay? Excellent opportunity for a cash buyer. Um, I, I, I used to specialize in, in specific subdivisions. Um, I have a couple of subdivisions on the south side that I farm every single month, okay? And I touch them every single month. Why? Because uh, uh, because on a, on the south side of Atlanta, there are some areas that's that is filled with nothing but duplexes and investment properties. Those investment properties, I look at and I look them up in the public records. And if there's no mortgage and and there's no lien, it's a duplex, it's a quadruplex. It's a single family home in uh, investment property, no mortgage, no lien. I know it's an investment property. Hey, I'm farming that area. I'm sending, sending them a letter. I am sending them a postcard, they, but they'll call me back. I'm then on the phone. Guess what? I have another cash buyer. Why? The property's paid for. Okay, I have I have had investors with uh, with properties that was paid for. They would refinance the property, refinance the property, take the cash out, and go buy another property. Let's talk about that. This is that a cash deal? Think about it. Person owns this property free and clear, single family home, duplex, quadruplex. I'm farming this area. I know this area. I like this area. I specialize in this area. Okay. Go into the public record, find out the properties paid for. Oh, nothing. Free and clear. No mortgage, no lien. The public record says paid for. Okay. I know it's an investment property. I reach out. I farm that area. Person calls me back. They then refinance the property, meaning what? They pull cash out of the property. When they pull the cash out of the property, they then go and buy another property, cash money. Is, uh, is that a cash a transaction? Yes. Can I close that deal in three days, five days, seven days, 10 days, 14 days, whatever? Yes, I can. It's still a cash deal. Now, they refinance this one to buy another one but as far as the actual transaction, it's a cash deal. All right. Questions. The Q and A is open. If you let me check my Q and A, the question and answer is open. The chat's open. Q and A is open. Okay. Um, another one. Craigslist real estate for sale is. We've already talked about that. That one. Oh, here's a here's a big one. Courthouse steps. Shut up. Talk to me. This is a big one. I look. I used to go to the um uh, uh foreclosed property on the courthouse steps just to meet investors. Why? Because if you're buying a property on the courthouse steps, you cannot get financing. You only buy properties on the courthouse steps with what cash and let me say that again you only buy property on the courthouse steps with what cash cash is the only way you buy properties on the courthouse steps that's it okay so if you're on the courthouse steps buying cash 
you have cash from somewhere. Now, let's be clear. Um, is hard money cash? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a cash transaction. Yes, you went out and you borrowed hard money. Now let's talk about hard money really, really quick because I never want to assume that everybody know what hard money is. Hard money is just that hard, is risk. So a person goes out, they don't go to your normal bank, they don't go to your normal mortgage company, they get hard money. Hard money meaning just that hard, right? You borrow the money and then you have a quick payback. It's not like 30 years, 3% interest. It's not like, a, like that. You borrow the money with a quick payback, which makes it hard money. But for the sake of us as a real estate agent, hard money is, is still a cash transaction for us. Yes, the investor, yes, the home buyer, yes, the person borrowed the money. But for us and the transaction, it's still a cash transaction because when they come to us, they have cash. When they buy the property, it's cash, okay? Hard money, refinancing. I, I just gave you guys a you know example of refinancing, but hard money, refinancing. Here's the point that I'm making. It is still a cash transaction on our end, okay? Last but not least, 1031 tax exchange. So I sell this property. 1031 tax exchange means I can take the money from one property and I can go and buy another property. So I am taking cash. Again, think outside the box, y'all. Think outside the box. It's still a cash transaction as far as me, the agent, because I am taking money so I have a single family home. I sell that home. I take $200,000 from this property and I go buy another property. It is just like a, tra a cash transaction, okay? All right. So, so, you know, somebody said, give me simple numbers with the financing. Luther explained to me the refinancing. Okay, simple numbers. $100,000. Somebody said, give me an, an example with $100,000. So I own a house. The house is worth $100,000. The bank says, Luther, you can refinance not 100% of the house. The house is worth 100 grand. The bank says, just for an example, the bank says, Luther, you can, re, uh, you can refinance 80% of the value. So the house is worth $100,000. The bank says I can refinance and pull out 80%, which is $80,000. So I have a house that's worth $100,000. I refinance, pull out $80,000. I can't pull out $100,000. The bank says, no, you can't pull out the whole $100,000. But we will allow you to pull out 80%. So I refinance the property. The property was paid for with no balance. Now the property is going to go from zero balance to having financing on, uh, on that particular property for $80,000. But I now have $80,000 in my account because I refinanced, I pulled out 80%, I pulled out $80,000. I take that money, I put it into my account. That money sits there for three or four months called seasoning. So now the money looks like it's seasoned. The money looks like it's been sitting there, okay? Then I go out and I find the property and I, and I go to Mr. Agent and Mr. Agent says, I want proof of funds. Well, I got $80,000 sitting over here in Bank of America or Wells Fargo or wherever. It's been sitting over there for two months or four months. You, it don't matter that I refinance. It don't matter that it's hard money. It don't matter whether I got the money over there in my account. Here's the proof of funds because it's my money, right? So then I put up the proof of funds. I find another property. I put it under contract and I close in five days. Answer, uh, answer your question.
Okay. Excellent question. Okay. Okay. Haha, -ha, she said, wow. Wow. So I hope I answered your question well. Good, 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 good. Thank you for that question. All right. Questions, you guys. Question, you guys. All right, let's hey, let's do this really, really quick. In the chat, in the chat, I always like to ask this question. I and I usually launch a poll, but my poll isn't working today. So I so I want you guys to put this in the chat. From a scale to one to five, five meaning excellent, one meaning I didn't do so well. Y'all know I, I always shoot for that five. Put in that chat, how would you rank this webinar? Y'all know I work for fives. If you learn something, I should have earned the five, okay? <laughs> if I learned something, hopefully I earned that five, right? Put in that chat, how would you rank? This webinar. Look, uh, look, I had a couple of questions that stumped everybody that nobody could answer. So I think I earned that five because if I ask a question that you couldn't answer, I think you got your money's worth, right? All right. Look, sir, I'm going to give you a five. I'm driving, so I can't chat. Put it in chat, but I'll give you a five. There you go. You'll give me a five. Marilyn, thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, listen, you guys, do me a big, big favor. Just simply right now, Google my name, Luther Ragsdale, and go to Google and give me that five-star review. If you please go to Google right now, Luther Ragsdale, give me that five-star review. Would love that five-star review on Google. Look, would love to have it. Would truly appreciate it. If you receive a text message, if you receive an email about this session, please five-star review. That's what I'm working for, right? Go right now to Google five-star review. I would love it, all right? Um, if you receive an email, if you receive a text message, five-star, that's what I'm working for. Look, if you're not a member of my YouTube channel or if you are watching this live, right now on youtube listen i would love for you to subscribe to my channel right now put out brand new videos every single week subscribe to my youtube channel right now Sub uh, subscribe to my youtube channel right now also if you like this video if you are watching this live right now please ma'am please sir feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, if you're not a platinum real estate agent, would love to talk to you about career opportunities with our company. Have great one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yes, it's one-on-one -on -one with me. No, I don't give you to an associate broker. No, I don't give you to somebody else. It's one-on-one -on -one coaching with me personally. If you would like one-on-one -on -one coaching, contact us today, 404-994-4600. Call or text 404-994-4600. Would love to talk to you. All right? Hey, you guys, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your input. I had a great time. And you know what? You guys know. We will do it again next week. And I look forward to talking to you one more time. All right. So thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We will talk to you soon. Thank you. May God bless you.